So Nicholas begins reporting Princess Beatrix's issue of elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Mrs. boyfriend speaking. I would like to wish Prince Charles a happy 66th birthday as a young Republican promoting the White House under the Obama administration because I do rise above American politics. But of course, I love promoting diversity. Now, I am a very, very privileged person here in Memphis, Tennessee. So I did receive a lot of things for my personal birthday, such as a greeting card from St. Mary, which is the church across the street, which of course is my sister church. And of course, I got a birthday greeting from St. Mary. So I'd like to wish Prince Charles a happy 66th birthday from Memphis, Tennessee. Now, I love promoting diversity. And one thing people did not know, because I am a very, very private person, like, you know, Doris Duke and, of course, a lot of other um, elitists in the United States of America. I said, I received a car as well from the Archdiocese. Can you believe this, Mr. Sweet Friends? The Archdiocese of Chicago. And this is where the President of the United States, of course, was nominated for president. But I never opened it. So I always keep some letters I keep, I never open because I'm just very, um, I'm, I'm just a very, very, uh, you know, esoteric person and I never open every letter that I receive from every world leader. But I do have a lot of privileged things and I think that we need to live upon a privileged earth and I'm glad to make our land more privileged again. And here's another unopened letter, Nicholas Fields fans, from the Archdiocese of Chicago. So from everyone in Memphis, Tennessee, to Chicago, to Washington, D.C., happy birthday, Prince Charles, with the unopened letters of Nicholas Fugues. Now everyone knows I have not opened my letter from the White House or former President George W. Bush, now the Archdiocese of Chicago. And when will I ever open my letters, Nicholas Fugues? Um, I probably will not ever open them because I love promoting myself. I love promoting the free market in the 21st century. We love you, Prince Charles. God bless America. May God save the Queen. And we need to live a more privileged life in the 21st century. Thank you. Nicholas Fugues supporting Princess Beatrix is your elected American boyfriend speaking, expressing a happy 66th birthday to Prince Charles. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for coming to Memphis, a part of the British royal family. May God save the Queen and may God bless America. Thanks. So Nicholas Pegues reporting also known as the governor of the United States Congress 2014 regarding the descendant of Victorian Village. I want to encourage everyone to vote in election 2014. And of course, Pegues fans vote for Nicholas Pegues as a descendant of Victorian Village, Collins Chapel Historic District. I'm just inspiring everyone to vote. I may not neither vote for myself, but vote for anyone in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District. CNA not going to miss this. reporting also known as the governor for the United States Congress 2014 has just picked up my petition for the United States Congress 2014 for scholarship purposes. Now I'm not, you know, formally announcing a candidacy, but I am interested in the process and inspire my generation to public service. And so Nicholas Fugues reporting, yes Republicans can elect Nicholas Fugues for the United States Congress 2014 and a corporate thanks to Catholic nobility drafting Nicholas Pegues for the United States Congress, the governor, CNN icon of Memphis. We can make a difference in our global community. A corporate thanks to the Shelby County Election Commission. Nicholas Pegues reporting. 
So Nicholas begins reporting Princess Beatrix's issue elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. I would like to wish a happy 66th birthday to Prince Charles as a descendant of Victorian Village College Chapel Historic District and of course my code name is the White House Rodas. The White House Republican of the United States. Happy birthday to Prince Charles. Nicholas Begis reporting. Nicholas Begis reporting. Presidential motorcade. President Barack Obama in Memphis, Tennessee. arriving here to the elementary school. Nicholas Begay supporting, also known as the governor, seen in our report on this. Fortunately, I was supposed to be on the inside, but right now I'm on the outside. It's a little few minutes late. It's still pretty cool. Starting her let's move campaign. United States. And this was a private event, an invitation only event, that I unfortunately missed. Nicholas Begay reporting, also known as the governor. Nicholas Begay reporting. Prince Harry here in Memphis, Tennessee. And of course, Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Promoted on Facebook. Nicholas Begay reporting. <laughs> there he comes. Woo! Prince William in Memphis! Right behind him, Nicholas Begay reporting. Seen in Icon of Memphis. Nicholas Begay's reporting, Princess Beatrix is issued elected American boyfriend. Documenting this. It was Prince Harry. Awesome, awesome. Nicholas Begay's reporting. All right. And here we are in Memphis, Tennessee. Nicholas Begay's reporting. Documenting. Prince William and Prince Harry on Nicholas Pegues. God save the Queen. And Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Only on Nicholas Pegues. CNN Icon of Memphis. Excuse me.